Hello everyone, my name is Rocco. Today is September 30th, so we're very close 2016, very close to October. So it's full autumn. Uh, <clears throat> some of you people will know punishment for some of your enemies. In magic, it's very common to use the word enemy to describe not only Satan, but in this case to describe uh, physical enemies that uh, could be um, somehow directly or indirectly connected to you, not necessarily um, in a negative way. Uh, most times these people don't have anything against you, but what we mean by enemy, simply someone who's not doing your best interest. It could be slightly lighting you off track, perhaps giving you very important job that's very well paid but in the city where you're not meant to live and where God sees that you'll be unhappy that's still an enemy although he's paying you a lot of money and he's not doing this on purpose there will be some breakups today and people realizing that um, their love story was really mostly a fantasy or illusion However, it wasn't meant to be. Today's card is uh, Ace of Swords. This means that is a day for victory, but this victory will come. And this is today's card, what came out. And then the card that was before was the Seven Cups that jumped out. I'm getting a lot of signs today. And then I have the Death card that they're showing me just before it. It's going to put down my deck. So um, starting from here, uh, victory over illusion. So uh, coming to terms with the reality and um, finding it hard to accept changes, especially somehow. I don't know if this makes sense. Positive changes. We sometimes sabotage ourselves. Other times we don't understand reality entirely correctly but it's not our fault always so uh, it's a way of victory and overcoming your enemies by that I mean that you'll be more protected towards them but learn to identify these people who don't have your best interest at heart because they don't have their best interest at heart and sometimes they don't even have a heart anymore uh, they burned it so um, what can you do I want to meditate um, on world peace today and we're going to meditate like yesterday with um, the dragons who cool. bring peace into the world especially with the water dragons almost exclusively so we're up visualizing a pond of greenish water with no fish in it and there's a dragon's shadow overflowing floating the pond and this small lake reflects the dragon's image that is not visible with our physical eyes but it's visible through our third eye and the first dragon pot there's an image of a dragon still reflecting on the small lakes, ponds, water that is a, a dragon that's still there. On the other hand there's other dragons leading out towards a valley that they're bringing comfort 
and solace and happiness to this valley and they're coming back to their resources and going there to bring comfort and the pond that we see is like an oasis of happiness that they're bringing with the right dosage and at the right time to the right place on earth and we visualize this planet being full of this positive peaceful energy that affects us too even if we're not in a war zone like most of us aren't because everyone watching the video isn't but um and even if we don't know anyone who's even never been to war but um even if none of our family ever experienced this in this lifetime or others it's still a good idea to um, create a better connection to peace for everyone and we meditate on world peace and we pray that thanks to the Queen of Peace Mother Mary these situations are solved Amen and the fire dragons are joining the other dragons and all the elementals you know with them the dragon realm are helping out and I want to thank you for being with me and when we wish other people well then we receive well so let's be clear on what we need and let's make it so that we get it for what we put forth so I want to thank you once again and if you want a reading for you or a family member or a friend please email me at esotericservices.america at gmail.com it's a service because it's something that I do that creates well-being and health to you and is it's esoteric because it's it's not exoteric it's esoteric so it's not tangible but at the same time like your love for life is essential so that's why you need me and other light workers out there and witches and the spiritual people okay and people from every church and every temple that truly worships the only god there is in some form or philosophy even at some degree um thank you and ciao lessons to you